can see you with control panel. And I can hear you again. But today we're gonna add the sound control panel icon. And that's just gonna streamline access to the sound control panel. And that's your main bread and butter when it comes to troubleshooting sound issues on Windows systems. So let's get to it. Same method that we utilized for the other shortcuts that we created in the last two videos. If you haven't already, create a tools folder on your desktop. You can do that by right clicking on the empty portion of the desktop, going down to new, and then clicking folder. Just give it a unique name. Ours is called Red Eye Tools. We're going to right click in an empty portion of that folder, go down to new, and then click shortcut. And that's gonna open up the shortcut creation wizard. That system path to put into that input field is percentage sign, W-I-N-D-I-R, percentage sign, backslash, system32, backslash, mmsys.cpl and then we'll click next and we'll give it a name so we're going to call it sound control panel and then we'll click finish and now we should have that shortcut in our tools folder and we can right click on that shortcut go to properties then go to change icon and we can give it a unique icon. Just choose one that reminds us of sound. Hit apply, and there we go. And now we have our updated tools folder. And we have three tools in there now. So we have SSD trim, our network adapters, control panel shortcut, and we have our sound control panel shortcut. So this is gonna be our go-to folder when we're having issues on the system or if we just want to maintain the system. So hopefully this helps streamline access to some more of those operating system tools on your I system can as well. Hear again. I can hear again because I can hear again. All right, so bro. Bread and butter. Once we click change icon, it's going to take us to the default DLL for icons. But if you want to get some sound icons, you can type in, and we're going to paste this down below as well. C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash MMSYS dot CPL. Hit enter and it'll take us to the multimedia icons. And we're just gonna pick one of the speakers here and then hit apply and okay. And that should, the first speaker in the top left here doesn't do anything. So if that happens, just choose the other speaker looking icon down here in the lower right and that should work. Hit apply. <laughs> On Windows 10, if you want to have quicker access to this folder, you can put it on the taskbar. And we did this in the last two videos as well. We're going to link up those videos in the top right of this video. So if you want to see how we added the network adapters shortcut and the SSD trim shortcut, you can check out those videos in the top right of this video. And we'll put it down in the video description as well. But if you want to add this folder to the taskbar, you can do that by right clicking on an empty portion of the taskbar going to toolbars and then going to new toolbar just use the breadcrumb style navigation menu up here go to desktop then find your tools folder here's ours red eye tools click select folder and it will pin that folder to the taskbar and that way we don't have to go into settings getting overwhelmed and exhausted trying to find these things in the settings. If you wanted to get to sound control panel in the settings menu, you could go open the settings, go to system, go to sound, and then come over here to the right, 
go to sound control panel. Let me make this narrower so it fits on a 1080p screen. So we're in the sound. And if you come over here to related settings, you go to sound control panel. That will open the sound control panel. You'd have to be somebody who is really familiar with the settings, who works in the settings a lot, and doesn't forget that, and wants to spend that many more clicks going into the settings menu, going to system, so we're right click, two click, three click, four click, five clicks. So that takes us five clicks to get to this control panel from the settings menu in Windows 10. And that's only five clicks if you remember where it's at to begin with. And since most people don't live in the settings menu, a lot of people are probably going to forget where do I go to resolve issues with audio and sound. Now there are some various other places that we can access the sound control panel without going deep into the settings. But again, it requires us to remember these places. But if you wanted to, you could go down to the notification icon, the little speaker down here in the notification bar, right click that, and then go to sounds, click sounds, and that'll take you to the system sounds, and then you can just click the tab up here to go to recording and or playback. The problem with that is they're scattered around, so it keeps our attention, pulls our attention in all these different directions. When we're having a problem, and that's the worst time to be pulling our attention into all these various directions, stretching us to the limit. Instead of focused in a centralized tools location, focus scattered to different places across the system. Let's get it out. Let's put it on the desktop, get it in a folder, and then we can pin it to the taskbar in Windows 10. And by having all of these tools in that folder, it gives us kind of a, a good index, too. If we're having a problem and we don't really know where to go in the settings menu, we don't really know what we're looking for, this is going to give us a control panel shortcut to very strategic locations that should be a good starting point to resolving an issue if the issue is software-related or something to do with operating system settings. If we feel overwhelmed by the issue we're having and we open this folder and we say, okay, I'm having a problem with the sound. Where do I go? You can just go to S so we can sort these alphabetically. So by name, just click by name again to, to reverse the sort order. There we go. And now it's in alphabetical order. So if we're having a problem with sound, we're just going to go to S and look for anything to do with sound. There's the sound control panel. So we're going to double click that. It's going to open the sound control panel up. From within the sound control panel here, we can do a lot of things. So here's our playback tab. And you can see we're using speakers that are connected to the EVGA New Audio Pro. We can double click that and get into some advanced settings here. We can change spatial sound, change the default format, we can give exclusive control to applications. Verify that the levels match our volume adjustments. Check the driver, the details of the device. And we can also set default audio devices. Enable and disable devices. We can go to the recordings tab. Here's our microphone. We can double click that. Go to the listen tab and listen to this device while we're recording to monitor the audio as it's going through the microphone. We can change the levels, disable and enable enhancements, change the format. So it's just a lot of things you can do, and this should be a good starting point if you're having an issue with audio on your system. And if you want to, you can call it audio too. You don't have to call it sound control panel. Whatever makes it click in your head. Whatever gives you that association with speakers, microphone, any of those issues. 
If you think you would have a better chance of finding this setting, labeling it as an audio control panel, you could do that as well. Don't call it sound control panel, call it audio control panel. And that way when you open this folder, you'll be able to associate the issue that you're having with this shortcut so that you can open it up, get the issue resolved, hopefully, if it's an operating system settings issue, sound control panel, sound control panel.